Welcome back, y'all. Let's finish this. Finally. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. That suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And Good to know, because I think we're gonna get him one. To deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Surprise! And now it's time for the climactic this battle. Now, Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his people. Answer Not the question. Quite, but you're where close. Where this doesn't matter. You'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Oh, I think I do. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Nope. But I think yours has. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Well, shit. Batman. What are we gonna do He's about this, here. kids? Me too. Let me have him. He's the crazy one! Oh my god. Y'all, I think we just killed a bunch of mental patients. Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. She went that away. Oh my God. Yeah, we gotta stop this. We gonna bash him with a food tray. And then we gonna toss him into the calf. And 
finally, I think we'll take him out using the door. Ow. Knock you out with the gurney. Finally, to deal with Lady Arkham herself, we will bash her over the head with a light fixture. That looks like it's got to hurt. Here we go. We. Good for you. Well, shit. At least we got one good punch in. You again? Times. Goddamn. That's the plan. Get the fuck off me, psycho. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh hey Please Joe, what's up? Firing. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. The cavalry arrives. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down! On it! Hey, There's Vicky. no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> that armor blown at our fall a little. Vicky! <laughs> You're sick. You You're need not help. Well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. Touche. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. Didn't have anything to do if with really that shit. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If oh, you already have him. him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind him. 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Oh, 
Oh shit, a booby trap! Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. True enough. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? Those men deserve their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. I don't disagree, you but your methodology is a bit extreme. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Spock? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Leaving other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wait. Getting real tired of your shit, Vicky. <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? The mask is a symbol. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Nice try. My, this place looks awesome. As a location for a final battle, I kind of love it. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Oh my god! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called it's compassion. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. God damn. Don't you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Well, she's already figured it out, so we may if as well. That's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Well, now Bruce we know Vicky dies. He'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> no, There's but you'll do anything to accommodate you. your facts to the worldview. 
I can't change what happened in the past. Look. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You the facts to your worldview, rather. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. Ow. You bitch. Stop hitting a defenseless old man, Jesus. No more lies, no more talk. The it's only like 80 truth years left old. is in your death. Take a beat and I'll give you that. Gotcha. Maybe not. in half nice it's over nothing will keep me from my revenge Soldier. 
once she saw his face, I knew she wasn't walking out of here. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante. Expires known October only at as 7 p.m. Her death huh. marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. Nice. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did. Sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. Well, I did it for you, buddy. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. We love you, Butler you don't Dad. don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. I'll drink to that. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our that city, was how he got Gotham's promoted. leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for its future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of, and honored, to call my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That I is bet that comes in season two. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is true. We gon' go with Bruce. We need to repair one our image. Wizard. Let Gordon know. Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful.
Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Yes, it does. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did, so we can all move forward. Now, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. And I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. I'd like Not to, to meet mention, him. He makes one hell of an impression on people. Well, too bad he's not here. Wouldn't mind meeting him. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's not much of a talker. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I've come to apologize. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a better I am ceasing asylum. construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Oh, my! Get out the way! to lock up. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. I See think we know who season two's villain's gonna be. Well, that was kind of cool. In gameplay terms, it was kind of limited. It kind of like very 80s era adventure game type structure to it. What with the press this button to perform this exact move at this exact time thing. 
But, like, in story terms, it was pretty damn good. As a Batman story, I really enjoyed it. Particularly what they did with his parents. Making them kind of morally questionable. Because he... He kind of had a child's outlook on who they were, and it was interesting to see that question from a story perspective. You and 55.3% of players pocketed Harvey's coin. Let's see what everyone did, shall we? You and 67.9% of players comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. Well, who would do anything else? Seriously. How did you respond to Selena? You and 91.3% of players regarded Selena as more than a thief. Did you take off the cowl? Yes, apparently most people did. Sixty-one point six percent when is Bruce? And with that we are done, kids. <sighs> That was fun, but I think I'm going to save this clip and get it uploaded.